I'm Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's all embossed with an embossing folder. To make this card I used a 5 and 7 eighths by 8 and 1 eighth, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half and burnished. Add a piece of gold foil at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. I have a piece of white cardstock at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. I have two pieces of vellum which I'm going to stick together. These are 3 inch square. And I have a piece of gold foil which we're going to cut out this. Using this I am using two square um, dies and they measure three and five eighths square and two and one eighth so it's three and five eighths and two and one eighths the smaller square for the letters I'm using this retired let's get them out um yeah stamping up these are retired ages ago from stamping up joy So I've got the letters joyful Oops. which we're going to place on our square when we go to cut it out. Right, first of all I'm going to show you how I stuck the vellum together so you can't see it. Right, here's one. This is two pieces of vellum stuck together and there is no, as you can see, no glue marks. But what you can see is like a pattern. Looks like it's been embossed, but it hasn't. So what I did, I have got this big roll of double-sided tape. I think this is four inches, it is, just over four inches wide and these are little bits that I didn't use so I've kept, let me just stick them up on my glass tray and I'll put them back afterwards. So I did, rolled out a piece, that's at least three inches long and I stuck the one piece of vellum on it and then with my paper snips I cut it out I'll just put oh, ruined that. Never mind. Right. Stuck to my fingers. Very sticky stuff this stuff. all around this I believe stamping up cell sheets of this for 
um, die cutting. This is what this is for, for die cutting. I got this at Peterborough for four pound, I think it was, for the whole roll, which I thought wasn't bad. I don't know how much is on the roll. No, it wasn't four pound. It was, I don't know, five fifty each, but you bought two for ten pound, and me and my sister went half as on it. So that is what I've done, I've covered it in double sided tape make sure it's all stuck down with no air bubbles and what I do is peel off the backing she says easier said than done I've had no trouble with the last one I did, or the first one I did. Yeah. Take off the backing. Get your other piece of vellum, and then marry them up very carefully, because it will stick first time. And then just stick them down. And there we have two bits of vellum stuck together. And no glue marks. That's what I did with that one. I won't go to waste, I'll use that. I just thought I'd show you how I did it. I'll put that to one side. Right, what we're going to do is stick this on. And then this on. Evenly and straight. That's just like that. Get a bit of uh, washi tape to hold them down. And then what we do is we put the letters for the word joyful inside. up nice and straight come back over this way
fingers are too fat, they keep getting in the way. Right. Well then, to keep them in place, I've got some extra wide, long washi tape, and I put it all over all three of them. And I'll put this straight. Do the same with that. And all we've got to do now is bring up the um, pig shop. Right, what I am going to do, I'm going to run it through a couple of times just so that them letters will get cut out. That's all cut out fine. Still need this, so that is why I'm not putting it away. Take that off now. To do the background, that is an embossing folder. That is this embossing folder. It's all holly. This is a Sarah. Can't pick the stuff up. Sarah Davis, part of a Sarah Davis collection. My sister gave me a pile of her stuff. She gave me this embossing folder. She gave me this stamp set. Oh, it's got some nice Christmas stamps on it. She gave me a die with Missing You. Another die. This is a Lily die, but there's no stamp to go that. I'd like to try and find the stamp. It's a lovely lily dye. And then this Christmas ornament dye with some stamps. And this edge dye and stamp. I think that was it. I think that's all she gave me. She got given loads of it. So she just picked some stuff out and gave it to me. Much appreciated. So I'm using this one today. What I did, I've got the flat side, which is the top side of it. Uh, I've got some old olive ink, and I went all over the folder with my old olive ink. easier to do when it's on a table than it is to do on a embossing mat, embossing machine should I say. Right, I think that's enough. So then I get my small piece of paper, the five and three, five and a half by three and three quarters, and I sit that on the good bit, clean bit, close over the inky bit 
and run it through the machine. And run it back. And that's how it's come out. Quite nice, isn't it? Alright, let's clean it, shut the ink up. Get a wet wipe. Wipe down that. Remove this for a minute, and we're just gonna clean it up. And there we have it. You can use this on a white piece of paper, and you won't have any green. I only moved this so that it wouldn't get wet. Right, so there is our piece of paper. And what we'll do, we'll stick that straight away on our gold foil card. Because this is embossed, I will add more ink in the middle. Right. And we'll stick that on our curved base. Like so. And that will sit on there like that and then we bring this back taking off all the um, what do you call this stuff? washi tape There's our frame, which will sit in the middle there. Got bits of that string where it doesn't like being cut. stick on there like that which we will do first before we do anything else I'll stick this down I'll 
stick this down evenly and straight right. and what we're going to do is The letters. I knew this wire would stick. That we will sit inside there for now and use it as a template to stick our letters back in. the poker tool now to get the rest of the letters out because they are in there quite firm so with these six eyes I dropped one put them over there right now we'll stick these on here And put our letters back in now. We just have to ease the background a bit off. Very stringy this card. Anyway. I 
and we have the word joyful which we will stick on there you can stick it flat if you want all you've got to do is glue round the frame as you can see the frame and the letters and you could glue that down but I don't I have stuck it on dimensional I need to use the small ones for this and stick them on the shadow of the frame I am putting four each side apologize if you hear my husband snoring I should really send him to bed shouldn't I when I'm filming be a bit of a cheek Right, two on the sides. You might be thinking, oh, that's a lot. I know it is, but I like to keep it stable. Right, I'm going to put a couple. Can you see that on the nope? And I'm going to put one on the O. Oops. No. Can see that on the O, so Cut that in half and put the other one down there. That's better. And that's where that's gonna go. Take it back off. Nice there's so many, it would take me forever. When I make cards for myself, you know, before I film, I don't use stamping up dimensionals. I only use them when I'm filming. Why? I don't know. Because I do find them expensive for what they are. I buy mine out of the range. I'll show you which ones I use in a minute. Um, Right, let's just pop that on. Make sure it's straight. Yep. And yeah, my dimensionals, I use. Oh. That's stamping up, that's stamping up. They're stamping up, they're not. So these are the mini ones and that little tiny dots. I use them and with these you get 180 in there but then you've got all this negatives you can use as well which makes it 360. Same as the big ones, obviously you can see I've used all the big dots, but then I cut up and use all these for a pound and you get a big sheet, big long sheet. I just cut them in half, so that's been cut twice. Yeah, it is a big long sheet you get, something like that, and I just cut them in half. That way, that'll be it. That's what I use. 
And I only use Stampin' Up when I'm filming. In fact, what have we got on here? I have my small ones on this one. They are a higher dimensional, but it doesn't bother me to I go to post them. <laughs> so, there's your card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.